Also happening right now in Pueblo, we're tracking a search operation at Lake Pueblo State Park. And as you can see from this map there, Colorado Parks and Wildlife says they're looking for a man, perhaps others, who went missing while boating on Lake Pueblo. Early indications are that a small aluminum boat in strong gusting wind capsized and those on board did not make it to shore. Search teams plan to pick up where they left off at daybreak. News 5 Sam Kramer has been following this story for us all night long. He joins us live from the park with the very latest. Sam. Yeah, winds and restrictions to dive teams cutting today's recovery search short, but Parks and Wildlife officials say they expect to take full advantage of more optimal searching conditions tomorrow. Now, as for the people here enjoying camping in the park, well, they tell me quite frankly, it's a situation they hoped never to encounter. Well, Todd, you don't think you're going to hear sirens in a national park or in a state park. So when you do hear them, you know something is going on. Richard Williams was on a hike in Lake Pueblo State Park when a Flight for Life helicopter flew right above him. So automatically I knew there was a threat. It was the start of a search and rescue mission near the North Picnic area. Parks and Wildlife joined by the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office looking for a capsized boat and the unknown number of people on board. After witnesses called 911 urging them to help. They did hear a bang and so that caught their attention and that the boat uh, did sink fairly quickly after that and there were people in the water. They deployed three boats to search the water, even suiting up the county's dive team to investigate too and what park manager Monique Mullis calls a tough location for this type of search. When you look at it from here, it looks like it's probably fairly shallow, but we're actually kind of up on cliffs. The water's just really high. So they're actually dealing with depths of 70 to 100 feet. No victims were found after four hours of searching, prompting crews to transfer this from a rescue mission to a recovery mission. The uh, Pueblo County dive team did uh, do a couple of dives. Unfortunately, those were not successful. They'll work to find any victims in calmer conditions on Tuesday, while worried park campers like Williams still hope for the best. Everybody comes out here for a good time, and you kind of let your guard down and just relax, and to have something happen like that to somebody, and you don't know what it is, uh, you just, you pray and you hope for the best. And I, I just don't know if that happened today. And our first responders will waste no time tomorrow. They tell us that they will begin the search efforts at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning and with more manpower on hand as well. For now, always watching out for you, Pueblo County. I'm Sam Kramer, News 5.